the Oklahoma's equivalent of Oakland. I think in the United States it is well known that the United States has the highest rate of persons locked up in prison. So this is really staggering. And uh, lots of these crimes are related to gun offenses or drug offenses, etc. And I think uh, uh, there are different ways to explain why the U.S. crime rates are so high. For example, it's predominantly uh, immigrant countries. Many people came to the United States without... Are you a of discrimination against no, immigrants? No, 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 no. But, but some of these uh, immigrants, they start without standing on firm footing. Some of them actually drift into gray areas and eventually end up into, you know, uh, uh, criminal situations. You know, That's the irony, though. I mean, just... just for your edification, is that the only group that has ever been prohibited citizenship to the United States, naturalization, are the Chinese. Probably some of the lowest crime rates probably coming from ethnic, ethnic Chinese in the United States, historically speaking. So it, it's not just, I mean, just when you were asking Victor about the discrimination about uh, minorities, Chinese are minorities in the United States, and, and certainly they're not resorting to crime. With regard to what's going on in Oakland and other cities, I mean, Oakland, the mayor of Oakland is, at one time was Jerry Brown, who's now the governor of, of California. He was the governor before. There's a, there are a bunch of issues where arresting folks, there, there's such a backlash with regards to the surveillance of, of what police officers are doing with the community is protesting uh, about with, with regard to certain minorities that it's become very difficult for them to arrest people now because there's a, there's a chance it could be backlash within the community. So it is a very complicated Thank situation. you so much. Let me go to Martin Sidi, a senior fellow with the Global Policy Institute.